Maritime provinces are home to some of the oldest settlements in Canadian history. But did you know that one of the first was actually started by black settlers? Take a minute to learn about the rise and untimely fall of Africville. Black people have lived in Nova Scotia since before the founding of Halifax in 1749, but it wasn't until after the American Revolution in the late 1700s and early 1800s that large groups of black settlers began to arrive in the province, many of whom were former slaves promised freedom and land in Nova Scotia. What they encountered when they arrived, however, was racist treatment by their white neighbours and government officials. This pushed many black people to build homes on the outskirts of town instead. But despite the area receiving little support from government officials and lacking necessities like functioning sewage systems, access to clean water and proper garbage disposals, the tight-knit community persevered. And so Africville was born. For more than 150 years, the small community grew, expanding from just a few homes to a population of over 400 people. Everything changed, however, in 1964, when plans for a new bridge and the idea of urban renewal prompted the municipality to set its sights on Africville's land. Instead of investing in the community, officials approved a relocation program that promised free job training and employment assistance to help residents through relocation. But the reality wasn't so kind. Residents had their belongings moved in city dump trucks and homes were demolished immediately after their owners left. Of the 400 plus people living in Africville, only 14 residents held clear legal titles to their land, so the rest were only given $500 with the promise of more social aid in the future. Not much else was actually done to support Africville and its residents until 2001, when the United Nations report called for reparations to be paid to the community. In 2010, Halifax Mayor Peter Kelly apologized for the atrocities against Africville as part of a $4.5 million compensation deal. In 2021, Councillor Lindell Smith put forward a seven-part motion to plan for the future of Africville alongside local organizations and the descendants of former residents. Today, there's a public park and museum where Africville once stood to teach visitors about the history of the land and its community. If you've never heard of Africville, you're not alone. The tragic story of this small black community in Nova Scotia is not as well known as it should be. So to learn more about it and other important parts of black Canadian history, head over to blackbiblio.com.